Hello everyone, Crazy Canuck here, at, coming at you from Saskatchewan, Canada. Today, the video is going to be uh, going to take a little left turn into the metaphysical. We're going to do some egg sexing. It's uh, the time of year where I like to uh, gather up some eggs and put them in the incubator to, to uh, replenish our chicken supply. So, usually you'll just put them in the uh, incubator and hope for the best. And usually you probably get about you know half and half roosters to hen ratio uh, and when you're wanting eggs you can always butcher the roosters but it's more efficient if you're looking for eggs to actually know how many hens that you're hatching because if you don't have enough and you do another hatch then you're another uh, month or so behind the eight ball so we're gonna do some egg sexing all I do you take a piece of string you put something on the end of it, metal, in this case I just used a piece of wire, you can use a screw, a nail, I even used a paper clip. Um, you take that, you take an egg, you hold it over top of the egg, and you just wait. And this one is going in circles, so that's a hen. So put it over this one. Ooh, another hen, look at that, right on. And that one's just going back and forth. So that's a rooster. So you can do this for all your hatching eggs and you can uh, hopefully cut down on the ratio of uh, roosters to hens. Oh, another one in a circle, that's a, another hen. Now another another thing that I found out is that you can do some eggs that the it doesn't move at all. So what I'm guessing is that that one isn't fertilized and uh, you're just saving yourself uh, basically a dead egg that you know would taste good with bacon rather than have it rot in the incubator. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing over the next couple days is collecting up these eggs and then I'll show you um, the uh, the incubator and uh, just got a automatic turner for it this year so we'll, we'll set it all up and I'll show you how that works now I haven't never done this before with the sex in the eggs so this is going to be a really good experiment just to verify yes that it works or no it doesn't and uh, of course it'll take a month before that happens or actually a month and probably a week until they get their wing feathers and we can tell male from female so that's it on the egg sexing uh, just a little little primer on that and uh, I'll give you one more little update here before this video is over all right everyone uh, this is a little update on the uh, little grow chamber here uh, first of all I trim back the potatoes because they were kind of got leggy and fell over so they're regrowing uh, the onions are doing really well in this system now a couple days ago I put about a half a teaspoon of molasses into a gallon of uh, melted snow water and I gave these guys a little feeding the result is that the onions are now at seven bricks so they did go up. The potatoes on the other hand did not. So of course I'm not testing the potato itself, uh, I'm just testing the plant but you know at the end of this we'll, we'll find out exactly what, what's going on. Interesting note, uh, in the greenhouse like I said before these these onions would make one stalk with little onion, little onions on top and then uh, grow another stalk with onions and you'd have sometimes three sections of onions on the same stalk then it would fall over and that's how, they, that's how the Egyptian walking onion works now obviously that's not happening here we're getting many 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 leaves or what we call leaves on an onion and it's reproducing what looks like a seed pod and we will see how that develops 
but when you're looking at the same soil the only difference here is the lighting this is the harvest grow light as you can see harvest grow light here so manipulating plants can be as easy as changing the light I noticed this on uh, the first year I grew a soft white wheat which when it's harvested it looks like it's bleached and uh, the first year I grew it it almost looked like red spring which just blew me away I didn't know what was going on and then uh, ever since then it looks bleached out as normal so I think the change in lighting can affect how the plant actually grows which in this case if you're looking for onions for food this is the way to do it because then you've got a lot more food on this onion than you do uh, the, just a single stalk and, and a bunch of little bulbets. So it, it's very interesting if, if you know if you ha someone had uh, the time and the money to set up grow chambers under different lighting for different plants uh, I'm sure you could nail down exactly what kind of lighting would produce the exact plant that you want. Very, it's very interesting theory and uh, would be nice if somebody did something like that at some point but good luck with that the only ones who seem to do that is the pot growers uh, so there's your update on the on this and uh, hope you found it entertaining or at least informative and like Tim Taylor used to say or actually what no it was wasn't Tim Taylor it was uh, red green if they don't find you handsome at least let them find you handy that's it for this round um, subscribe if you haven't, like if you like, and we'll talk to you soon.